About 400 students from 12 communities attend 4th through 8th grade at the Fair School Crystal. And you can't tell a story about the Fair School Crystal without having a focus on arts. And that's the focus of today's School Spotlight. It took three days to make this so far. Every grade at the Fair School Crystal has an artist in residence. Let's watch for the big buffalo with the gray horns. Julie Boada is a Native American visual artist with a background in puppetry. We're working toward a puppet performance of indigenous resistance. The culmination of this history lesson will be a performance. Do you like to show in a performance or do you like to stay hidden? Where there's a role for everyone. Sometimes visual artists don't feel comfortable being on stage, but you can make this beautiful work that then is on stage and then the kids that want to shine as actors can also shine as actors and make it a little hole. Seeing students shine when they find the art that fits is a big payoff for staff here. We may have a kid or two who gets in trouble but then when they get on stage totally different kid and so that makes my job more exciting for me because I know that's coming right that's the, the end product. Principal Zorba Ross says there's beauty in watching how a student can grow when motivated. Here we go. Song is always a motivator for students in choir class. As you can tell by now, exposing students to a variety of arts is a big part of what sets Fair School Crystal apart. It's a blessing, you know, for all of these kids to be able to participate. They may not love each and every one of those um, arts classes, but they get exposed to it. And I think that is the most important thing. And all of my groups, keep it up. That exposure happens in classes you'd least expect, too. Take algebra, for example. From y equals m, x plus b, b is a y intercept, you'll see. It's not unusual for students to sing as part of their lesson. En que colores? Or how about Spanish class? Aquí necesitan más amarillo. Students are speaking Spanish, but painting emojis to learn vocabulary words about emotion. Well, it really um, adds that visual piece and that kinesthetic piece where what kids can really do and create. It's not just memorizing lists or things like that, but they are able to really um, feel what they are learning and create something. The art focus at Fair School Crystal isn't about creating a beautiful finished product or turning students into art masters. Instead, it's a way for students to love learning. But it was that process of using art, whether it be songs or dancing or drawing, painting, acting, all of those different things that help them learn the content. The teachers at Fair School Crystal have an exciting training workshop coming up too. Crayola, as in the Crayon Company, is going to come talk to them about new ways to use arts in the classroom. Always cool to visit that school.